Hi there, truck owners. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at Weston's line of platinum oval Nerf bars. These are available either in black, like you see here, or in stainless steel. They're custom designed to fit your truck, so you'll wanna use our fit guide to determine the appropriate part number for your vehicle. Now there's a lot of reasons you might want Nerf bars, whether it's just the appearance you get with it, as it does kind of make your truck look a little bit bigger and more rugged, but also for its benefits of getting in and out of the vehicle. It makes it easier because you've got a step, so you don't have to work as hard getting in, and you've also got a surface that is non-skid. This is particularly useful for people with mobility issues, younger children, or if your truck is just lifted way up in the air and you can use a step to get in. These are four inch diameter Nerf bars, and I like the oversized pads on them. A lot of Nerf bars and running boards out there, they just seem too small for my large feet. But with this, I don't have any issues getting my foothold on top so I can easily get in. And in inclement weather, the Weston logo and textured surface will provide traction. Now, regardless of which model truck you have, you'll have one pad for each door. And in some cases, you may even have an additional pad where the step will extend back to help you get into the bed of the truck. These steps not only look rugged and durable, but they are rugged and durable. They're constructed of a steel. The inside of the tube is hollow, but it's a nice thick steel that does have no give. I mean, and with the round shape, it's not gonna collapse. Is that such a strong shape? And I weigh about 200 pounds, and you can see when I get on the Nerf bar here, there's no flexibility. The, the truck moves. I can bounce up and down, and I feel nothing. There's no movement. It's as if it was just part of the truck. Another feature it has over other Nerf bars is its mandrel bended 90 degree turn at each end of our Nerf bar. This bend is not only stronger, but it also gives your truck a sleeker look as it curves in to fit the body. And without there being any creases in it due to that mandrel bending process, it's gonna be more resistant against corrosion as there's no places for water to collect in those creases. So with how solid our Nerf bar is here, it will easily last the lifetime of your truck. Now, the step pads here are going to last a long time, but these may need to be replaced at some point over time. They are resistant against UV rays, but like all plastics, when they're outside in the elements, heating up and getting cold, they do get brittle, and at some point it will eventually crack and you may need to replace them. We do have replacements available here at eTrailer.com, and it's a cinch because they simply just snap in. And speaking of the pads and how they attached, one of the processes they used when constructing the Nerf bar here, many of your Nerf bars are gonna cut out an area for the pad to sit on, but with these Weston bars, it's actually bent down into a concave area for our pad to go down into. With it being bent down instead of cut out, we've got the full integrity of our bar as it's still solid all the way around. You'll receive two Nerf bars with your kit, one for your passenger side and one for the driver's side. All of the hardware that you'll need to get installed comes included, and all of our brackets are gonna mount underneath, giving us a location to get our Nerf bar installed here on the side. Now, if you are interested in that extra step to get into the back of your truck, you'll wanna make sure that you get the wheel-to-wheel -wheel Nerf bars from the Platinum Series. And they're also great if you have any roof-mounted accessories. As things on your roof, while I'm a pretty tall guy, I can still load stuff up here. It's a lot harder to lift things up over your head. So now we've got a step here that we can use to keep those items down below our head and get everything loaded up. And if you've got a cargo box on there, you can easily route around inside of it and be able to see the things that you're trying to find. Another popular Nerf bar from Weston is the Protrax. I've gone ahead and installed the Protrax here just on our passenger side with our platinum ovals on the driver's side so you can get an idea of what they're gonna look like. Now you can see here it has plastic covers over the brackets, both on the middle and the front and the rear. And they are plastic and it's nice that it's got something there. It makes it look like a larger bracket than it actually is as it's really just a piece of metal like this turned sideways. So it makes it look much more substantial. I'm not a big fan though of the uh, plastic hardware. I like the Platinum series better on the other side as it's just got the solid metal brackets for the center here. And I also like on the Platinum Oval on the other side, the way that it has a full 90 degree bend that turns into the vehicle. So it looks like it just goes right in. It has a better look in my opinion than this here with a gap. And it also feels sturdier as it attaches to the center of the Nerf bar on the other side where our brackets are underneath. There's more bracing 
With the Protrex here, it, it seems fine. I can step up and down on it, but if I bounce up and down on this side versus the other side, the other side has no movement. It feels very solid. This side here, it doesn't feel in any means that something's gonna happen with it. It just doesn't feel quite as sturdy. So when deciding on which Nerf bars is gonna be best for you, the two things that I really look for are its durability and the way that it looks. And the Platinum Oval to me hits both of those marks better than the Protrax. And that completes our look at Weston's line of Platinum Oval Nerf bars.